No way, guys, you gotta see this. This is a rough green snake. This is my favorite snake to find in here. All right, guys, so what we're out here doing today is we're walking this edge looking for snakes. But we're not alone today. We actually got two guys, Eli and Luke. We met through the videos, basically, and I told them that I'd, if they were ever in Louisiana, I'd help them catch some snakes. So they're over there. I think they're filming something on the bridge with a broadhead skink, so that's pretty cool. And I'll probably be in their video. I'm going to leave their video in the description and probably in the comment section for you guys to go check out after this video. But uh, I really want to find something new for you guys today, so either a new a uh, lizard or a new snake, something new that we haven't filmed for you guys before. But other than that, they're going to get to film a bunch of stuff today, hopefully. And uh, yeah, hopefully we can find something new too. Let's go. Check this out. Whoop! He's a swiggly. He's a swiggly. Come here. It's a little brown snake. I don't know what kind of snake this is, actually. Some kind of little brown ground or uh, earth snake. Looking at it, I would guess either it's a smooth earth snake or a flathead snake. Maybe some kind of little ground snake I've never heard of. It's got a little stripe down its back. But whatever this snake is, I've never found it before. I'll probably do some research when I get back and figure out what one of those three it is. Now the tail, I'm seeing he's got a little nub tail and that means something would have tried to grab him. Either another snake, a bird, or something and he would have spun his tail off. And a snake's tails can't grow back so it's going to stay a little nub like that. Now a snake of this size would be eating worms and all kinds of little insects. These little ground snakes are uh, insect eaters and they mostly eat earthworms and slugs for what I've seen. Cute little guy, completely docile, non-venomous, bright little belly and just a brownish color and a cute little face. He's got a little flattish head but uh, it doesn't look like a flathead snake. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and put him down. Here you go little buddy. Whoop. No way, guys, you gotta see this. This is a rough green snake. I have not found one of these guys in two years. The last time I saw one of these was literally our first video. And I was actually just talking about this guy. Y'all come in real quick. We just spotted this guy. We're out here filming with them. This is Eli and Luke. And they just helped me find this snake because I was bringing them out here to catch some snakes and there was no way we would have found this thing. This is my favorite snake to find in here. Ever. This is exciting, I'm gonna tell you. Uh, oh, he's yo, bad. he's trying to bite me. He's trying to bite me. Earlier, his tongue was actually out. They'll actually use it to camouflage and they'll sway with the leaves in the wind. Yo, why are you trying to steal my mold, man? Bro, and it's really interesting because it looks like a No, don't be doing this thing. <laughs> Dude, that is insane. Rough green snake. That is very special. I rarely find these guys. Let's see, this would be the fourth one I've ever found. That's, I really do not find a lot of these guys, and the last time I found one of these guys was our first video. But now we can get a full video on these guys. And this is actually our lifer. This is really? Incredible. This is our first yeah, rough green? Yeah, this is our first rough green. No kidding. Now rough green snakes are mostly insectivorous, meaning they'll eat all kinds of little bugs, but they'll sometimes eat a small lizard or a skink. One of the reasons I never find these guys, they're actually a lot of them. They're actually a common snake, however, they're impossible to spot. The only way you'd spot them is on this concrete. That's the only places I've ever found them. They're all up in these trees, I'm sure. They're probably watching us right now, but we just can't spot them. Now, these snakes are super camouflaged, and one thing that's really cool is when the wind blows out here, they'll actually sway with the wind. And that's something they'll do as they get closer to insects and lizards as they're trying to hunt. They're a super camouflage snake. I almost never find these guys. And they're the friendliest snake around. They look like some kind of tropical snake from like South America or something. They're just a really special snake. Now these guys normally max out at about three, three and a half feet, but the males do normally stay a little bit smaller and I would guess that this is a male. Very, very thin snake and they're really good climbers. Check this out, look. He's gonna wrap that tail around my finger. Look at that. He's holding up his whole body with just that little bit of his tail. That is insane. Normally in the springtime, they're gonna be laying their eggs and they lay these little tiny skinny eggs and they don't lay too many. They lay them under logs and under wood and all kinds of stuff like that. They'll be hatching out and they're born really tiny. They're about that long when they're born. And the first thing that they have to do is go straight up a tree because if they don't, little predators will pick them off. And look at that belly. They've got a bright yellow belly and that dark green top. Now there's also the smooth green snake, but they don't really live here. We get the rough greens. He's got one little, little parasite on him, so he's really, really healthy. He's tongue flicking a lot. They're a completely non-venomous snake, and they're very, very relaxed. 
very special snake to find out here. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and if you did enjoy, definitely leave a like. And we'll see you dudes next time. Alright, let's go check it out.